boy, so NF dropped new music. As soon as I heard, I rushed and grabbed my darkest hoodie, put that hood up over my head, and prepared myself. Because despite the song being called Hope, I wasn't about to let old Nathan trick me into thinking that this would be some happy-go-lucky tune. And happy-go-lucky it was not. But before we go into the hopeless nature of a song called Hope, first, let's talk about what I liked about this song. It wasn't the music. The highlight of this song is just the video. Not only is it obviously super well shot and thought out, as all of NF's videos are, but being that this is being used as a catalyst for like a new album and a next chapter. The amount of callbacks to NF's catalog and the way those callbacks were done, pushing himself over a ledge back into his past self in the mansion, screaming in a distorted voice back into his black makeup joker thing whatever, the balloons, the shopping cart, tying everything together in his little NF cinematic universe. Mwah! Problem is, musically, this sounds like every other NF song ever. Now before any of you get your panties all twisted and start commenting about how popular NF songs are and therefore they must be good, we must first look at the Mickey Mouse diagram of music, where most of NF's catalog and this song included fall is smacked dab in the middle of this will sell well. You can't really consider it great, and despite it being very derivative of himself and Eminem, it's done well for what it is, so you can't consider it bad either. So that's where it falls on the Mickey Mouse diagram of music. The sweet spot that every artist strives for is that upper left hand corner, where it's both good and it sells. Actually, to be fair, a lot of artists strive for the top right, because it's easier, where you make crap, but it sells. John <laughs> McDonald, oh, excuse me. So save your dumb they get millions of views arguments for someone else with a double digit IQ cause I'm not having it. We're here to talk about music, not about your extremely biased views of it because you're a super fan of the artist we happen to be talking about today. Got it? Anyway, back to this. Now listen, I'm a guy that likes some monotony and consistency in an artist that I listen to. And I gotta hand it to NF, he knows what his fans want and he delivers. Fulfilling his Eminem arc in trying to make amends with his mom in this song. Since Eminem did it, I guess NF said he had to do it too. He really do be an effing recovery clone, don't he? Oh yeah, by the way, to anyone watching this, most of the NF fans have either left or have started writing their angry comments by now. Uh, y y you'll find that of all the fan bases, NF fans are, um... What's a nice way to put this? They're really f dumb, at least in any juncture wherein NF is involved. Whatever brain they have just shuts off. Objective or subjective criticism of NF is equivalent to them as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles running a train on their mom and then leaving her for dead. So don't mind them. Back to the song. Every cliche that I think of when I think of NF are hit in this song. The flows that are bitten off of Eminem where it goes Rah! the same three stories from Nate's life that he retells at different junctures and some sort of hint that he has expanded beyond that and is growing. That's always the hook of each of these albums. But going back to what I was saying about the monotony of it all, I like when a band sticks to a certain style and doesn't try to deviate too much from it. Give the people what they want. But Nate seems to be a little bit on the side of that that I think goes too far. Where instead of feeling like you're sticking to your style while kind of keeping it fresh, it just makes it that every song basically sounds the same unless you pay close attention to the lyrics. Which NF fans are usually here for the lyrics more than the music. Music. I want both. And honestly, if I have to sacrifice one or the other, I'm gonna sacrifice the lyrics. Because music, I'm listening to, to listen to it. And if I cared about the words more than anything else, I'd just read poems and books. So the ultimate irony of this song called Hope for me is that it's a song about new chapters, new beginnings. He talks about how having kids has changed his life. He talks about the ruts he gets into as a musician, listening to the criticism and trying to grow from it. But he does all of this inside the the same song we've heard Nate make for the past 15 years or whatever. I don't think he's been doing it that long, but it feels like it. My only hope for this whole hope 
project would be that this is a swan song for that style of Nate. If this was an epic finale, both visually and sonically, and whatever music we get from him going forward is still him, but a vastly different version of him. Now that would be incredibly satisfying. And if that happens, I'll be excited to review the other songs that come with it. But as it stands now without the rest of the album to contextualize it, this is just NF playing it safe but making it look like he's not playing it safe. Which is what he's done his whole career to great success. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep working. And his fans are gonna love it. So I guess mission accomplished. But it's certainly not for me. Speaking of stuff not being for you, if you like NF's music, you'll probably hate mine. Hey, hi, I'm not doing all right. Every day a new fight. Anytime I'm winning, I just lose to fight. So go check out my latest song, Voicemails from a Loser, which is from my upcoming album of the same name, and leave your hate comments there as well, so that YouTube will recommend it to someone with better taste than you. And that's the plug. And until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye!